And Catherine Gregg had to know this was going to happen. For nine months, she refused to answer any questions before a grand jury on who, if anyone, helped her and Whitey Bulger while they were on the run. 64 year old Catherine Gregg, now serving time in a Minnesota federal prison, was given immunity, but she refused to reveal details to a grand jury on how she and Bulger avoided capture. The FBI said in a statement Catherine Gregg has yet again failed to do the right thing. Her refusal to testify has hindered the FBI's efforts to seek justice for the victims of Bulger's crimes. What they're looking for is whether there's information that might lead to further investigation and or indictments against other people. Are there other people who assisted her and Whitey Bulger to escape detection for so long? Greg is serving an eight-year sentence for identity fraud and harboring a fugitive. Her current sentence was up in June of 2018, but now that has all changed. She can continue to uh, not say anything, but that probably means she's going to continue to stay in federal prison. There is no fixed maximum penalty for criminal contempt, so a judge could impose any sentence. Greg will have to be brought back to Boston for arraignment on this new charge. Now, Greg's attorney did not return our telephone calls today, but Bulger's attorney, Hank Brennan, said he was not shocked by the indictment, calling it needless, but he said he hopes the government exercises some discretion. We'll have more at 6. Reporting live from the federal courthouse in Boston, Janowood, WCVB, News Center 5.